this is Mr. Martin. This is uh, video number um, two. Actually, it's just the second part of section 4.3. It's uh, video number one notes, but it's uh, the second part because it was getting a little bit long, the first part. Um, so really for this video, all we need to do is look at one more example. And um, in this example, we're going to, uh, again, discuss the topic of uh, co-functions. So, um, just uh, continuing, you can see here's the other example we worked on. Uh, we're just continuing from there with number two. Um, so what I want to do is I want to find the six trig functions for both acute angles in the triangle. All right, so here's my triangle. The site's 5, the site's 12, the site's 13, and this is going to be my angle theta. So um, I want to find the uh, trig functions for both acute angles. So I've got theta, and then I've got this other angle here, which I'm going to label in a minute. But let's go ahead and find the six trig functions for this. And um, I'm just going to make a, a, a list of them here. So I've got that the sine of theta, remember that's opposite over hypotenuse, so that's 5 over 13. The cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's 12 over 13. And the tangent of theta is equal to sine over cosine or opposite over adjacent so that's 5 over 12 and then I've got my three um, reciprocal functions so reciprocal of sine is cosecant cosecant theta so it's going to be 13 over 5 secant of theta reciprocal of this one 13 over 12 and then the cotangent of theta reciprocal of the tangent 12 over 5 so what I need to do is I need to find the um, six trig functions for this other angle here. So again, we talked about this a little bit. If this angle is theta, this has to be what's left over from 90. So it has to be 90 minus theta. So if you notice, if I add up these two angles, if I add up theta plus 90 minus theta, the thetas cancel out and I end up with just 90 two angles that add up to 90 are complements. So these two angles, these two acute angles in any right triangle are going to be complementary. So keep that in mind. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to do the sine of 90 minus theta. So now I'm over here. The sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's 12 over 13. The cosine of 90 minus theta is adjacent, so that's 5 over hypotenuse 13, and the cotangent of 90 minus theta is 12 over, sorry, cotangent is um, adjacent over hypotenuse, or uh, adjacent over opposite, so that's 5 over, what am I doing here? Sorry about that, hope you're writing a pencil tangent 90 minus theta yeah now I got it uh, tangent 12 over 5 okay next I want the uh, cosecant of 90 minus theta so that's going to be the reciprocal of the sine so the reciprocal of this one so that's going to be 13 over 12 the secant of 90 minus theta, so that's a reciprocal of the cosine, so that's 13 over 5, and the cotangent of 90 minus theta, that's going to be the reciprocal of the tangent, so 5 over 12. All right, so again, let's take a look at um, the sine of theta 
and the cosine of 90 minus theta, and you see that they are equal. So sine and cosine are what we call cofunctions. So let's make a little list here. Co functions. So sine and cosine. Those are cofunctions. So I have sine and cosine cofunctions. I have theta and 90 minus theta, which are complements, and I see that those are equal. So cofunctions of complementary angles, we see that they're equal. So let's take a look at another pair. So I've got cosine of theta is 12 over 13, and sine of 90 minus theta is also 12 over 13. Okay, again, sine and cosine are cofunctions. Theta and 90 minus theta are complementary. We see that they're equal. And then let's take a look at um, this. We've got a stretch over here, but um, tangent and cotangent. Okay, we see that these are equal. So tangent and cotangent, those are another pair of cofunctions, tangent and cotangent. We see that those are equal. And the same thing over here, cotangent theta and tangent 90 minus theta, we see that those are equal. All right, and then we've got um, two more pairs here. I've got cosecant of theta and secant 90 minus theta, we see that those are equal. And I've got secant theta here and cosecant 90 minus theta here. So again, we've got another pair of cofunctions, so secant and cosecant. Again, theta, 90 minus theta are complementary, and we see that they're equal. So what we have here is that cofunctions of complementary angles are equal. All right, so um, this gives us kind of a shortcut way to um, find out certain angles, and when you get to some of the um, practice problems in the book, um, if you anytime you see a 90 minus theta, look for the theta and look for the cofunction, and you know that those are going to have to be equal. So again, if uh, if you have any trouble with any of the things in this example or of the previous video, make sure you jot down a note for yourself and um, ask me next time you see me in class.